fine. How are you? It's been a long time. It's been a while. Yeah, I was telling. Uh, yeah, I was. I explained earlier where I where I've been. So you can ask Katera for the for the update. Okay, <clears throat> but you're but you're fine. Do I look so bad? No, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, you look you look well. You look healthy. You have added some weight. I've added weight too. Really. Okay, that's not, it's not always a compliment, but yeah, it's true. You know, I've started. I discovered a place with good croissants close by, so I've been from snack, snacking. Actually, it's a compliment from where I'm from. Uh, yeah, that's true. I it's not it's not always a compliment. My my son told me the same thing a few days ago, and he wasn't being complimentary. So, yeah. Um, okay, great. Uh, now that we've established all of that, good morning, everyone. It's uh, the 21st of June, 2024. We're in week 10 of UTJ1, and happy to be here in terms of announcements. Uh, no major announcements from the team, or rather no announcements at all, um, other than we have our regular submission, <coughs> excuse me, the regular submission is happening uh, tomorrow. As usual, we have our hot seat session with Leah. Uh, she's just joined. Leah, we're going to do it slightly, slightly differently. Um, we're going to do the stand up before and then we'll go into the hot seat uh, afterwards. We have our women's only session happening in one hour and then we have our CBS as usual with Emilian. And uh, the career submission is uh, today and then the technical submission is tomorrow. So with that, I'd love to hear, just go around the table and uh, ask how the week has been, what you are working on, um, what your plan is for today, any blockers. And I'd love to hear any reflections that you have on things that you've learned this week. So let's start with uh, Gutierrez, as he was here first, and then we'll go to, uh, we'll go in the order that people join at the start of these, Gutierrez, Sosten, Leia, uh, Steven, and Rafael. Yeah, okay, good morning. Uh, my week has been awesome. I've been able to hone my skills in Canva, uh, preparing invitation cards. Uh, had, then had, you ever, had you ever had you ever used Canva before? Yeah, uh, actually I've yeah, used it. Eh? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I've just I've just gotten a chance to use it even more and I really appreciate that. Uh something else that I've learned is uh, Asana. Asana, I think it's a better tool as compared to Trello. That is my personal opinion, and uh, I think I'll be using Asana most of the times. Yeah, yeah. And uh, today, today I'm just finalizing on Asana and the career challenge. Thank you. And okay. no okay. issues on this side. Eh? No issue. Were you able to find any real pictures of Kim and Kanye? Uh not yet. I was not no. able, but have I can you, do that. We tried. I think it'd be it'd be nice. I mean, to actually take someone real and to sort of work with them, I think it would add something to uh, Kimi. Oh yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. Okay. Um, look, we we are uh, five six of the way through. How are you feeling about uh, what you've learned? Uh, personally, I, I feel very confident. That is something that I can say that I can yeah. actually pick somebody about my skills with a lot of confidence and uh, I will be able to deliver what I promise from my pitching. Okay. And do you think, uh, I, I have a kind of pro provocative question that we're sort of wrestling with in the team. Did we try and teach uh, the group too much? Because we were a bit surprised that so many people, we, we don't have so many people left. So the, one of the questions we have is, did we try and teach people too much? Did we set the bar too high? Uh, I, I think, okay, as far as I'm concerned, and in my own opinion, I, I think whatever has been taught uh, is just, I can, I can say that it's just there because actually something else that I usually do during my weekends is uh, go through some job applications in projects management uh, to compare whatever we are being taught and whatever is needed out there. And I think we are good to go. Okay. So you feel like with this training, you would be able to get a new job in project management? Yeah, yeah. I'm very certain and uh, positive about it and confident, actually. Okay. And which sort of companies are you looking for? Are you looking rather at like 
this Faza shop down the street? Or are you looking at Coca-Cola? Are you what sort of companies are you looking at? Uh, at? At the moment, I've actually been looking for remote jobs, actually. And uh, okay. I think on Monday, I made two applications, one on uh, Raspberry Pi, the other company I can't remember. But I had seen that I had met the qualifications and I was able, I could be able to, if selected, I will be able to deliver uh, whatever the company needs. That's really good to hear. I, I have a question for you. What What do you think your hit rate will be on applications to interviews? You mentioned you made two applications. What's your expected yeah. hit rate? If you, how many applications will it take you to get one interview or one somebody calling you back to want to talk to you? What's your guess? Uh, with the experience that I've gained here at at Ten Academy, okay. Previously, I could say that uh, maybe after making like ten applications, I would maybe get uh, maybe two calls or three. But uh, at this training, twenty to thirty percent. Pardon? Twenty to thirty percent. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, previously, yeah, but at the moment, uh, because. I've learned how to maybe uh, do my TV. I'm expecting around uh, something to do with 70, 70 to 80 percent. Yeah? Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm curious. So I, I just want to put it in context. Our intensive training, where we're trying to create people for generative, uh, for machine learning engineering jobs and generative AI jobs, do you know what the hit rate is, the interview hit rate? Uh, nope. It's about 1%. 1% is on the high side. 1%? On the high side. It, it, that's on the high side. It's often less than 1%. Because they're aiming for a really high job. And it's not to, I'm not saying this to, uh, to be a naysayer or to feel negative, but I want to bring um, a certain amount of uh, to give you a perspective on how much how much work it actually takes to get a new international uh, remote job. Okay. It doesn't mean it's impossible, but it just means that the same system that you would need to adopt to apply for two jobs a day is vastly different than uh, the system. The system that we employ with the intensive training is to get people to apply for 200 jobs a month. And that's uh, for three months. So that's about what it takes. Yeah, I'll take the I'll take that challenge actually. You, yeah. you said one thousand. About two hundred jobs a month. Oh, two hundred jobs a month. Yeah. Yeah. So we usually break that up into three weeks, one week off, and eighty jobs a week for three weeks. So that yeah. means, and what we usually do is just have two days in a week where you apply for forty jobs, so that we kind wow. of just what heavy job. I mean, it's doable. It's much better in our experience rather than. 200 jobs a month, if you do it every day, that's 10, 10 jobs a day, 10 jobs per working day. But that's difficult yeah. to find 10 jobs per working day. So we try and get people into the job mindset. But all of the how is different. I just want to make sure that we're not, uh, I don't want you to fall in the trap of wanting to beat Kipchoge and you're going for a two kilometer run once a week and you're waiting to beat Kipchoge. Yeah, yeah I, I get your point. Yeah, so I just wanted to put that. So it's very doable, and I'm really happy to, to hear that you're fitting that. Uh, and of course, the what we're trying to do with the intensive training is different. We're taking people with no experience, and we're trying to get them to global level remote jobs uh, within three months, after three months of technical training. So it's a, there's a big gap, right? We're basically saying, take me, who's gained some weight, and uh, put me up against Kipchoge in three months, which is different. But you know. I, the Indians haven't been, uh, I know, the Indians are about to overtake India, uh, Kenya and Ethiopia in marathon running, even if you guys don't believe it. India can't. Well, they are only at movies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it hurts because it's true. It hurts because it's true. Okay. Uh, wonderful. Let's go to Sostem. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hi. So for me, it, it it has been a great week, a great ten weeks actually. I've 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 realized some hidden potential. 
have also managed to where, overcome. Where was it hiding? Uh, I think it's because of t time cons constraints. Because majorly, I was I was struggling with procrastination, postponing, mm. postponing. But since since I I dedicated myself to this to this challenge to this program, I've been I've been holding myself accountable. I've I've, I've managed to improve my efficiency and the, the projects I've, I've i've made me realize that with with anything i, I was I, I was i was a little bit doubtful of ai as many people were but mm -hmm. as, as 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 the time has been going i've come to realize that it, it's actually a great tool for 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 us majorly because it, it helps us yeah. reach reach new levels it, it helps us uncover our potential in many ways. So I've, I've been enjoying the process, and uh, I think I've I, actually I've been I've been uh, I'm, I'm a freelance worker. So I've been trying to incorporate these this, these challenges into my portfolio, trying to to better my my, my projects and to, yeah. to and, and 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 to make myself viewed more with potential clients. So it has been a great process. Okay, that sounds that sounds great. I'm happy that. Uh, so we believe strongly in this idea of anyone can do it. But the, you know, I I heard a great quote uh, which I believe in that the only difference between a ten dollar book and a thousand dollar course is that somebody forces you to show up, and uh, they read the book to you. And so I think as humans, we really are social creatures and having Matida and Natnael and Kerod and Ayaya and Emilian there to sort of keep an eye on you uh, and Miriam as well makes a big difference. So yeah, if you, need, uh, if you need any suggested names for your future children, then I'm sure Emilian and Kerod and Miriam and Makita and Natnael, <laughs> would be, they'd be happy to lend their name. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about this week? So then, what's your, uh, what's your plan? What did you get done yesterday? What's your plan for today? And any blockers? Other than, you know, I hope you're not getting stuck in looking up too many pictures of uh, Kanye West. <laughs> I I spent some time perusing the pictures, looking for the perfect picture, you know, for the for that card. Uh -huh. So. I I I do not spend too much time there, but the project has has made me more efficient. I can feel confident in my project management. I can actually present myself or do an elevator pitch to somebody and tell them that I can manage your project. I can plan your event or organize something here and there. I know I I, I got inside the terminologies. I can. I can put I can put Trello Asana here and there. Tell tell them about assigning the task. It it has actually improved my efficiency. And yesterday I worked on the speeches. I was trying to, to to find. You all know how I like wordplay. So I was trying to find the, the a catchy a catchy speech that will that will make the crowd go wow. You know. So I, I've been doing a lot, and I, I I'm loving it. I'm going to put you on the spot, Sosten. I want you. I'm going to start the stopwatch. I want to hear your elevator pitch. Are you ready? No, no, no. I'm not ready. <laughs> you have to be ready. Ready? Let's go. About you, about you. Okay. My name is Sosten Tipano, and uh, I'm a I'm a great project manager. I can manage a project using. Asana, I can use, we can assign tasks down to the minute and make it more presentable to you and your company in any way that you see fit. I can also make sure to allocate your resources effectively, making sure you don't lose any money and having the faith that your resources are in capable hands and not be misused. That's all I can come of. Well done. Thanks. Thanks for allowing us to put you on the spot. I think it was really uh, a good start. I think I would have I, the only uh, feedback I would give you is you started by saying what you can do, what you're able to deliver. But I think you should always start with what is the problem they're facing. So and 
if you were to say, instead of I can work with Asana, you can say, I can make sure your product, your projects are delivered. At the end, project management is only three things. On time, on budget, at the right level of quality. And everyone worries about the same mm. things. So, so it's better to start with the problem. Well, because that's what I'm interested in, right? If you're pitching yourself to me, I'm sitting here thinking, how do I get a project on time, on budget, at quality? And so if you start there and say, then you go backwards and say, this is how I'm going to do it, that's a little bit different. Like if you get a, a construction worker who comes into your house and says, you know, I know the best strength of concrete, and I use pipes from Germany and tools from Switzerland, and I'm going to use that to make it to install pipes in your bathroom, which make sure that the water flows versus you want a beautiful toilet, which always works and doesn't malfunction and it doesn't smell, then I know that you want that and I'm going to be able to deliver that cheap and reliable and it's going to last for 20 years. And I have a contact with a company ABC training in one, two, three. That's how I'm going to do it. So I think it starts more. I don't care about your pipes or your concrete. I care about my toilet. And this, yeah. the same, I think, yeah. is true when you go to a restaurant. You don't really care what sort of uh, oven they have or what sort of oil they use. You want, you know, good food. Good, yeah. Now it's up to them. Thank you for the feedback. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Let's go to. Uh, I think it was Leah who is next. Yes. Hi, Arun. Hi, Leah. I'm taking over your stand, your uh, hot seat. It's going to happen afterwards. <laughs> no worries. So yes. how's, how's the week been? What have you been working on? And uh, what are you working on today? Any blockers and what did you learn this week? Those are the questions. Um, if I'm being very honest, I've had a very busy week or, or, or rather busy two weeks. So I haven't been able to attend the classes as much, but that doesn't mean the work hasn't been getting done. Yeah. Um, I've been able to make the Trello boards. I was able to do the um, Canva invites. Um, thankfully, I'd worked with Canva before, so it was a good refresher course, if we if we might say. Mm -hmm. um, basically, it's been smooth sailing, currently working on the career challenge, um, which is um, as much as much as it's as much as it's um, something you'd say um, should be common knowledge. But in all honesty, it's a very good thing to remember, like how to um, take in criticism. We need to keep reminding ourselves of such things. I really like the career challenges that we've been getting. They look like something you'd say is common knowledge, but they've been um, good to remember overall throughout the course. Yeah. Any blockers? Um, if I'm being honest, for me sometimes it's time because um, as I as I do this 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 for school, I still have work on the side. Yeah. Yeah. So um, time has been a constraint, but I haven't let it get to me because um, we need to do what needs to be done. So yeah. time would be my only constraint. So here's the same question I asked uh, to I asked before. Um, should we have to Gutierre? Do you think we should have uh, made it a little bit easier? Should we have should we decontent the next program a little bit to make it less time demand? Um, I think, in all honesty, one of the things that made me um, really like this course is the fact that um, we were doing the practicality of it and not necessarily theor theoretical knowledge. You know, the yeah. practicality of it makes it make more sense for a week. So, as much as yes, we have this time constraint and all that. I, I think it is doable and possible, in all honesty. It is doable and possible. It's difficult, though, right? A lot of, we had more than 500 people applying. So a lot of dropouts, right? A lot of people got tired along the way. So, yeah, I mean, we're just, we're just playing around with that. If, for example, we had the same challenge this week, but instead of five or six different tasks, we had uh, two or three, then you would learn. You wouldn't learn as much. That's true. But uh, people, it would probably be more accessible to less motivated people. That is true. Um, you're actually really right about that part. Um, so what if there, there are people who are really highly motivated, and maybe you can say those are the people who you've come through with um, to the end of these weeks. And then there are people who might need maybe two to three tasks um, per week, which accommodates um, whatever else they could be doing on the side. But that doesn't mean necessarily 
um, that you you see this this course for three months, it has been so beneficial because after you're done with this, you can pick something else mm. and you have a lot of knowledge. So um, maybe you could choose to have two different courses where one is um, for highly motivated people and then one is able to accommodate everybody else. You mean like <laughs> you want like a business class and an economy class? Something like that. Okay. All right. So you guys get you guys get the glasses of champagne, and the others <laughs> the others have to have whatever drinking boxes or they get water. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing your Kim and Kanye invite. Uh, let's go to <laughs> let's go to Rafael. Hello. Hi, How are you? Hi, Rika. Hi. How's the How's the week been for you? Uh, so thank you to uh, as a general as give a great opportunity to update my skill and uh, integrate with AI tools. Uh, and uh, so this week uh, I learned how to create and uh, prepare reading cards invitations using Canva and I would like to use Asana to plan especially reading the managed tasks because I find Asana better than Troll on the uh, notions and others. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I'm um, so happy with the team. Okay. And do you feel like yeah. the same question to you, should we have made it uh, easier to, uh, or reduce the content a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, especially both of uh, technical and other technical challenges are make easier. Okay, so I mean, you, if you're finding it easy, then we have to make it harder for you. But I think we had we know that we had a lot of people drop drop out. So yeah, okay. So I, I hear what you're saying. I think for you, you're not seeing it as uh, you wouldn't suggest decontent decontenting it. Okay. Uh, Sorry. Go ahead. As you know, most of well, I'm on my ground. I'm a professional, and this environment makes it so easier for me. Especially to be using AI to just make everything easier for me. Yeah, so there are. Uh, I think my network is starving me. No, I can hear you. I can hear you well. But I think my question, Rafael, was slightly different. The question was around, did we try and teach too much in this course? So I think we already have our plan for the next two weeks. <clears throat> it's going to be a nice uh, challenge that'll bring everything together. And it'll actually be, I think, the hardest but most interesting challenge yet, uh, or the most comprehensive challenge yet. But I think one of the things that we're reflecting on as a team or as an organization is, did we make the challenges uh, too difficult? So I wanted your opinion on that. Hello? Yeah. Hello? I'm not out okay. of that. You're not, I can hear you. Maybe maybe you can't hear me. So let, let's move on, because I think Rafael's connection maybe uh, is not super good. Uh, let's move on to... Uh, so we've already had uh, Tusnelda, who's uh, commented in writing. We've had Gitere. Let's go on to Yeshi. Yeshi, are you able to speak? No? OK, let's go on to uh, Feromsa. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. Good morning. And I would like to say you welcome, Arun. Welcome. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you and other tutor leaders also using this chance, I'm saying uh, to say thank you. And they have uh, done a lot for us. Each time they are uh, trying to uh, put something uh, in order to add some value uh, for the trainees so i want to say thank you and as a general 
the program was so fa fantastic and amazing. We have tried to see a lot of uh, pointers together, especially using artificial intelligence in order to do uh, a lot of tasks which which, which may require uh, more time. So mm. for me, uh, this this program is uh, a really amazing one, and I have seen a lot of pointers. And again, um, I have added uh, a lot of uh, pointers to my previous experience, and. Uh, this week's challenge is again uh, an amazing one, and uh, we have tried to see uh, a lot of uh, um, platforms in order to just uh, do the planning and again assigning the tasks and managing the tasks at all. So uh, generally, like, to say, do you, like, do you like Kanye West? What? Do you like Kanye? Do you like his music? Music. Kanye. What? Do you know Kanye West? He's a musician. Do you like I Kanye West? Don't know. I, I don't know him. I'm not this much familiar with the musician. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. We've, we've, we forgot to make that one of the tasks to listen to a Kanye West album. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the one who have married Kim. No, now they're, now they're not married anymore. They used, that's why they have to get remarried. Because yeah. actually, they broke up. Yeah, but they are they are yeah. going to marry again, so we have no, done on that as a task. Mak Makita wants them to marry again. That was actually her. She's hoping that uh, uh, they call them Kimye. They hope that Kimye gets back together. Okay, <laughs> we have to. So that can be part of the CBS for this week, Emilian, to pick the favorite Kanye song. Um, do you have any blockers for Omsa? No, uh, till now I'm not having any blocker, uh, yeah. and I'm doing good, and I'm doing on the last uh, task, especially yeah. on using Anas uh, Asana in order to uh, manage the tasks, in order to assign the tasks for each members, and again uh, assigning some due dates. So for me it's good, and I want to say this one. Thank you, Aryu. Yeah, no, no need for thanks. We're happy that we could collaborate. Um, yeah, I mean, we're not, we're not at the graduation yet. We'll be announcing the graduation soon, but it's going to be happening in two weeks. So uh, wait, watch this space. We'll be doing an online graduation. Um, who's left to go? Who's able to speak? Uh, I don't know, Yeshi, if you're able to speak. And I think we and Tusnelda has already written. Tusnelda, we're going to come back to you. Uh, Mikito will come back to you on Slack if we're able to submit today. I believe it's possible, um, or will make it possible. But um, and Rufael, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, overall, the program is amazing, and I have gained a lot of experience and knowledge. I'm confident in my journey to become a successful project manager. Now. Okay, that's that's very good to hear. Do you do you do you want to uh, should we start? Do you want to do the elevator pitch? Should I start the clock? Do you want yeah. to try? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, one second. Let me get one. Uh, ta, 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 ta. Here we go. Let me get it. Oh no. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's let's go. Okay, can I start from my, my background? <laughs> my name is yeah. uh, Rafael In my background, I'm a health professional, and I'm interested in learning new things. Then I'm planning to become a project manager. And, uh, overall, the UTG having a great opportunity to update my skills and uh, integrate with AI tools. And, uh, especially this week, learned how to create and uh, prepare reading cards, invitations or using Canva. I would really like to use Asana to plan. And uh, I find Asana better than Trello and uh, Notions. 
especially for uh, project managers, it's more easy to use. Uh, now I'm uh, confident in my job. I'm a project manager. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, let's stop that. OK. OK, everyone, thanks. Uh, so just in terms of longer term announcements, the graduation will be happening in two weeks. Um, we have technical career submission, technical submission tomorrow, career submission today. Uh, week 11 and 12 is likely to be a two week long challenge. We'll be making that announcement. Um, we have the uh, usual CDS happening later on today. Um, Gutierrez looks shocked. Uh, Emilian, go ahead. Emilian, you have your hand up? Or maybe it's a mistake. <clears throat> oh, um, yeah, yeah. Can I, can I be ahead now? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I was uh, passing my announcement for CBS. We're going to have our CBS here on Gumit. We're going to have Kahoot today. Yeah. Is ah, okay. I will pass the announcement, the final announcement on, on Slack after. Yeah. And uh, just after this, we have our hot seat with, uh, so sorry, we also have our women's only session which is starting in half an hour. And we have our hot seat happening right now, and the CBS will be happening on Gmeet, as, um, as Emilian said. Are there any questions? So, Stan, go ahead. You said you're planning to, to make the next UTJ program less comprehensive. We're thinking about it, right? We we want more people to do it, but we know a lot of people have told us that it's too hard to do in parallel to work. So that's that's part of the discussion we're having. We haven't decided yet. Also, but you're, like, trying, you're trying to find a balance between those who are currently working and those who have much time. You know, it's not only you. I think a lot of people here are working, but it's a not everyone wants to, not everyone has the discipline to put in 20 hours. So here, here it is, 20 hours a week of, 20 hours a week is something. So we said our plan was three hours a day during the weekdays and one full weekend and one full weekend day. So if that's three times five, it's 15 plus five hours on a Saturday, we thought people would do it. What we're seeing is that there's very few people who are able to keep that up for 12 weeks. So we're, and 20 hours of, I think what we're asking people to do, maybe the same question in a different way. Do you think 20 hours is a reasonable estimate for the amount of time that you're putting in? Is it, you know, do you think you're putting in more or less? Of course it changes week to week, but is that a, are we about right with 20 hours? Yeah. I think it's right because you said it. It all comes to, to down to discipline. If you if 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 you don't have the drive to learn and to meet the deadlines and the submissions, then you're you're on the wrong platform. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's but, true. But I think I think that twenty hours of active learning. So it's not. You know, I've also done online courses where actually it said 20 hours, but a lot of it was just watching a video and I would try and take a quiz and I didn't have to pass the quiz. I could kind of just guess and I didn't really put much work into it. I think you guys have also done courses like that. But here, because there's no assignments, or sorry, there's no exams, it's really active learning. So yeah. we're, we're thinking about reducing if we if we should reduce the amount of uh, reduce the requirements a little bit. For me, in my opinion, I think it's it's just fine the way it is because it, 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 it engages the activity. It makes you really be active, and and when you learn something, you you really learn it, not just for the mm. sake of exams or answering questions. You internalize I mean, it. The the real value will come when you guys go to work or when you go to an interview and it's one thing to say yeah you know i've read i've read about asana i've read about uh summarizing documents with chat gpt but you guys can show it right 
you can demonstrate it within one hour. If somebody, yeah. you know, I want do something for me, and you know, your colleagues may take a day, and you can do that in an hour. That's impressive, and that's that's what we wanted to get you guys to. That's why we're not interested in exams or book knowledge or theory. We want everyone to get their hands dirty, because that's how the real world of work works. Um, yeah. But the cha the challenge is a little bit. We also want enough people to take part, so we will not change our approach. But may I think one of the questions is: Should we reduce that from twenty hours to maybe twelve to fifteen hours? I think okay. In my own opinion, I think uh, this program is as good and as perfect the way it is. Uh, something that I know is that everything you have to put a, a value for a for bone one. If you really want to be a, a project manager, like I did actually, you will put all that effort to catch up, even if you you don't have some time. Because also for me, I think there are some two weeks where I never attended even a single class, but I made it a point to go to to the Google, no, to the YouTube. I watched those videos and I was able to tackle my tasks. Yeah, so everything is about the value of forgotten ones. Eh? How much do you need this uh, skill in project management? So for me, I think uh, this program is as good as it is. Nothing should be changed, actually. Maybe it, it should even be made uh, more hard, more hard, because actually, I'm sure out there in the job market, uh, the, the jobs will be actually harder than what you have, you have been seeing here. So actually, I think it should even be made more harder, so that when you go out there, you fit in well. Right? No, you should you should tell that to Nat now. Tell Nat now you want you want it more difficult. He'll be happy. He wants to destroy you. I, I will inbox him on Slack. He'll be happy. He's he's waiting to destroy everybody. <laughs> in a good way. In a good way. In a good way. Not in a bad. Way. Yeah, I understand. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna hand uh, the seat over to the hot seat to lay up, and uh, yeah. Thanks, everyone. So, uh, Emilian, are you running the hot seat then? Emilian. Okay, well, oh, okay. can I be heard now? I think yeah. now I can be heard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. I'm having issues with my mic, sorry for that. Yeah, I think we can start, Leah, are you ready? Um. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> I, would, I would just request to see, your, request your video to be on, then we start. We have only 10 minutes. Do you think that's possible on your side, maybe? Yeah, let me see. Yeah. All right. So we can start questions in the chat box. I think Leah will be reading and uh, answering. But if you have a very hot question, we we allow you to open your mic and ask. So let's go on. Uh, we drop our questions in the chat. I mean, the chat box. And then, yeah, let's make it hot. Uh, maybe you can stop recording. What do you say, Leah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure.